Ladies and gentlemen, good evening to you. It's wonderful to have this group here tonight. And my name is Chuck Mojock. I'm the president of Lake Sumter State College, and I will be your MC for the evening. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the 2013 edition of the annual Lake County Community Service Awards. Well, let me begin uh, by introducing myself. I am Chuck Mojock, president of Lake Sumter State College. And I want to say that this has been a momentous year for the college as we celebrated our 50th anniversary of service to Lake and Sumter counties. At the same time, we have undergone a name change to reflect our expanded mission of offering bachelor's degrees. Our first classes in the BAS, Bachelor of Applied Science in Organizational Management, started just this past January, and we're off to a great start. I've now had the privilege of leading this college for nearly 11 years, and I can tell you that it is exhilarating every day to be able to work with the most outstanding and dedicated faculty, staff, and board that I have ever encountered. We are truly blessed to have them here in our community. I will ask at this time that our presenters please come forward and take your seats here. Presenters come forward, thank you. And as they are coming up, let me introduce them to you. These are the sponsors who make all this possible and couldn't happen without uh, these sponsors. So when I call your name, wave your hand so uh, we can recognize you. Ed Rizzo, Marketing Director of the Daily Commercial. <laughs> Mayor Chris Bell, President of Lake County League of Cities. We have a double here, Sherry Olson and Carolyn Mamone from Leadership Lake County. Mike Butcher, President of the Chamber Alliance of Lake County. And Tim Morris, Lake Sumter State College Board Chair. And where is Aaron? Aaron Wales with Lake Receptions. I guess Aaron will join us in a bit, but thank, thank you to her. Also want to extend a special thank you to the gentleman you've seen running everywhere and frantically taking care of all the last minute things that happen is Jim Myers. There's Jim. And uh, Jim has indicated that uh, you have to thank Mike Perry for this script. So if you don't like anything, don't blame me. Mike wrote it, I'm just reading it, okay? So. <laughs> I want that disclaimer clear right here at the, at the front end. We're gonna start off this evening with the Lake County Business Hall of Fame Award. The Lake County Business Hall of Fame Award recognizes career business achievement in Lake County. The inductee this evening will be permanently recognized at the Business Executive Conference Room on the Leesburg campus of Lake Sumter State College. Our Business Hall of Fame inductee <coughs> grew up in the small town of Wyland, Alabama, near the coal mines of Birmingham. As a young man, he attended Southern Methodist University, interesting enough to play football, and also studied history and philosophy. Our inductee became a Methodist minister, traveling through many churches in Kentucky. He returned to Birmingham and got into the car business because he had to eat. He came to Lake County and opened the first dealership in Fruitland Park in 1978, which has since won numerous Buick GMC awards, and he's employed more than 50 people for many years. In addition to establishing dealerships in Crystal River, Bartow, and Ocala, he acquired the Toyota Scion in Leesburg in 1998. This dealership also has an excess of 50 local employees. Our inductee is more, though, than just an incredibly successful businessman. He is a gracious and generous man who loves people, but not the attention that may come his way for his many contributions. He prefers to remain in the background and serve his community and fellow man. He is a staunch advocate for children and medical services devoted to children. 
For example, he is a major benefactor of the Arnold Palmer Children's Hospital, which is the only facility dedicated to serve the medical needs of children of Lake County. He is a behind the scenes philanthropist who has organized charity events and donated money to many local and Central Florida organizations and various charitable causes. Our inductee is also known as a teacher and mentor willing to share his knowledge, experiences, and perspectives to those wanting to make a difference. He is an accomplished public speaker, yet prefers to remain out of the public spotlight. It is our pleasure to bestow an honor on not only a respected businessman, but on a member of our community willing to make a difference for others while not seeking recognition for himself. As a matter of fact, I'm told it took many of his friends and colleagues to convince, coerce, and perhaps maybe even kidnap him to get him to attend this ceremony tonight. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Lake County Business Hall of Fame inductee for 2013, Larry Phillips. Say a few words. You don't say that to a preacher, do you? That's right. A few words. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you for all the people over here. Uh, I'm, I'm honored. I, I don't know what to say. I think it's just, uh, I think it's just wonderful. And I had a few words that I did want to say to you, which is, I kind of feel like a mosquito in a nudist colony. I don't know where to begin. I had a speech teacher one time tell me, if you don't have anything to say, don't get up and prove it. I might be there tonight. <clears throat> I thank you all for doing what you have done. I remember I remember a few things that I wanted to speak to you about, and this will take me about, oh, no more than about 50 minutes. <laughs> so just relax. I did want to tell you, one of the things that I do, do cherish is a little poem that, that uh, John Wayne, big, big benefactor of John Wayne, loved what, everything he did. It's the only movie star I know was John Wayne. And he, he recited poems in, I think it was 1973 or 76 before he died. And one of them said, uh, the poem was, Mis Reis Astonici. I don't know Spanish. Anybody here know Spanish? Hello? <laughs> Nobody here. I'm safe then. I'm safe. Mis Reis Astonici means my roots are buried here. And my roots are buried in Lake County. I'm a little mad I wasn't born here, but my roots are buried here, and I will be too. Thank you. Thank you. Easy to see, and, and you'll find that with each of our recipients. Uh, as soon as you see them, if you don't know them, and you hear their story, you say, yeah, that was a great choice. We know why that person was selected. Our next recipient is the Community Service Arts and Cultural Award winner. The past two decades have seen immense changes in Lake County. We have come from a quiet agricultural citrus economy to a more diverse area. Our population has grown, first with seniors and more recently with families, eager to get away from the big city. 
As our population has grown, so have their needs and desires for a better quality of life, for education and cultural outlets. Our recipient has labored tirelessly to ensure that Lake County has access to the social and cultural benefits provided by a hometown professional symphony orchestra. In 2005, Guy St. Clair and our recipient inaugurated the Florida Lake Symphony Orchestra, a professional orchestra here in Lake County. An enthusiastic audience accepted them into the county and marveled at the musical performances they could provide. The Florida Lake Symphony Orchestra's uniqueness is due to the presence of a professional 60-piece orchestra in this essentially out of the way, not heavily populated community. <laughs> Subsequent to Guy's untimely passing, our recipient recognized the need for a strategic plan and formed a special volunteer team to develop the Florida Lake Symphony Orchestra. This plan focuses on maximizing Lake County cultural enrichment through orchestral music and community outreach. Through our recipient's leadership, the orchestra implemented many of the plan elements and Lake County is starting to see the results. Her vision is for the orchestra to be the center of musical excellence, essential to the economic and cultural development of Lake County, ultimately performing someday in a permanent venue. Everything the Florida Lake Symphony Orchestra does culturally enriches our county. The orchestra continues its concert series at two Lake County venues, one north and one south. These themed concerts are a mix of classical and movie Broadway compositions designed to appeal to the widest possible audience. Among many things, the orchestra organizes concert preludes, where there are free talks open to the public held before the concerts, a chamber concert series, a flash mob concert, that would be interesting, in Mount Dora Art Festival, Meet the Musician, where you get a chance to meet some of the professional musicians, the Guy St. Clair Young Artist Competition, a young artist receives a $1,000 scholarship and gets to play two concerts with the orchestra, the Mount Dora School of Ballet, and a junior cotillion. <clears throat> Not content with all these activities, our recipient is planning future programs such as increasing youth outreach by working to perform in the schools to expose students to high quality music, and a side-by-side -side concert with Central Florida Youth Orchestra providing young musicians from the Central Florida Youth Orchestra the opportunity to play alongside professional musicians. As a professional artist, she enriches our county's cultural scene. The recipient of the Arts and Culture Community Service Award for 2013 is Audrey Sanders, Florida Lake Symphony Orchestra. <laughs> tomorrow in, in Mount Dora and in Claremont Friday night. And the compositions are my husband's Slavic dances and Slavic concerto. We also have the winner of our competition, a 14-year-old violinist, who is going to perform tomorrow evening and Friday. And also the second place winner is doing a duet with, um, with our concertmaster. So we have things happening. I've noticed that a lot of people say that um, nothing good comes from Bethlehem. A lot of people have said that about Lake County. Lake County has some of the greatest, greatest talent ever. And I think that we ought to recognize it now that we have incredible people living here. And I've seen it myself, the people who support the symphony, who come up and support all of the wonderful programs that we have. And I want to say thank you to all of you and thank you for, for this 
great honor. Now we're at the Community Service Leadership Award. Leaders are often judged by how their actions and their personal and professional lives affect those around them. It is surprising, actually, that our recipient has not already received this award. For years, she has exemplified the selfless and tireless community service that this award requires. In another way, though, it is not surprising because for our recipient, it is never about her. It is always about the people, young and old, who want and need her help. Our recipient cares about young people, the arts, education, and the economic vitality of our community. For that reason, she has served on numerous and varied boards that have just one thing in common, making Lake County a better place to live, work, and play. Our recipient has received numerous awards, including the Good Egg Award from the Leesburg Chamber of Commerce, the Boys and Girls Club of Lake and Sumter Counties Women to Youth Award, the Disney Community Service Award, the George O. Pringle Award, and the Lake Sumter State College Distinguished Alumni Award, Service to Home Community. To further illustrate her commitment to the community, the following is just a partial list of the organizations she has been involved with the Educational Foundation of Lake County Schools, Lake County, Lake Sumter State College Board of Trustees and Lake Sumter State College Foundation, Lake County March of Dimes, the Boys and Girls Club, Leesburg Area Chamber, Leesburg Partnership, Share of Central Florida, Performing Arts of Lake and Sumter Counties, United Way, Lake County Industrial Development Authority, Workforce Central Florida, and the LSSC Business Resource Center Advisory Committee. The only thing that our recipient would not do is get up early to come to meetings. <laughs> she would always threaten me when she was board chair of our foundation and then of our college board of trustees that if we had a meeting too early, she was going to show up in her pajamas and bunny slippers and uh, we would just have to deal with that. She never came through with that threat. I want that to be known right now, but that was uh, her only possible weakness, and even that we never really saw. Our recipient will be retiring from her role, I'm sad to say, as trustee for Lake Sumter State College. She has decided it is time to finally repay her supportive husband, Russell, and faithful dog, Tebow, by spending more time with them. The recipient of the 2013 Lake County Community Service Leadership Award is Margo Odom. to tell you when uh, I was opening the mail about a month ago I saw this letter that said League of Cities and I thought oh I saw this letter that said League of Cities and I said I've been retired three and a half years what the world could they possibly want so I opened it up and to my surprise I had not only been nominated for this award but I was receiving it and I have to tell you I have been very fortunate that I worked for a company that be, believed very strongly in giving back to the communities that they served. And at some strange moment, they saw that I had the talent and the skills to send me back to my hometown and my county where I grew up. And so I was fortunate to come back and work here and represent them from 1994. I have had the privilege and the honor to work with all of you at one time or another and I have truly enjoyed it. I had a wonderful job, and I'm still gonna have my finger in some things out there, but it's time that I give Russell his due, and that dog Tebow is just wild. If you know how to train a lab, call me. <laughs> I just hope very much that I have helped make a difference in this community that we all love. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh. 
what a guy, huh? <laughs> Our next award is the Community Service Public Service Award. Our recipient is a proud former Marine who served his country with honor, a man of devotion to his community. He has served on many volunteer boards within Lake County and has given hundreds of hours of his time toward improving the quality of life in Lake County. He is currently volunteering his time on the Lady Lake Economic Development Board, looking for ways to bring new and sustainable development into the area. He is also a member of the Lake County Board of Building Examiners. Our recipient is a volunteer with the Marine Corps League of the Villages and is extremely active in the Villages Honor Flight for our local veterans. He has assisted in helping over 100 veterans get to the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. Our recipient is committed to helping others and is the first one to step up and volunteer his time to help make a difference. He is an active member of St. Timothy's Knights of Columbus and has been honored as Knight of the Month several times and in 2012 was named Knight of the Year, which recognizes outstanding fulfillment of the tenets of the Knights, fraternity, charity, unity, and patriotism. He is a steady presence at the town of Lady Lake Commission meetings giving his opinions from the heart, and he's truly dedicated to improving Lake County's quality of life. A quote from Larry Finneran, Grand Knight of St. Timothy, Knights of Columbus, said, while sometimes seeming rough on the exterior, he has a heart filled with charity for his fellow man. He will be a worthy recipient of this award. Our recipient volunteers with the American Legion, the Knights of Columbus, St. Vincent de Paul Society, the Marine Corps League, the Devil Dogs, the Veterans of Vietnam, and he works with the Wounded Warriors at the Tampa, Florida Spinal Injury Hospital. Our recipient has received the J.C. Penney Golden Rule Award in recognition for his humanitarian services with Catholic Social Services, and he is recognized by the Town of Lady Lake for his volunteer work. The Lake County 2013 Community Service Award for Public Service recipient is Joseph Quinn. Wow, and Mr. Phillips, I agree with you on John Wayne, the best movie ever made was McClinock. Could watch that all day. I am very honored to receive this, and I receive it in the name of a lot of other people that I work with. I would also like to talk about some of the people that honored me that are here tonight at our table. A quick introduction. The mayor of the town of Lady Lake, uh, Jim Richards, Commissioner Dan Vincent and his wife Sharon, Commissioner Paul Hannon and his friend Yolo Buchanan, and our town manager, Chris Colgard. Also seated there, well, people say behind every man there's a great woman, and I have never agreed with that statement. In a few months, Carol and I will celebrate our 50th anniversary, and she has always been beside me. Thank you, honey, and I love you. I just have a few more names to drop at the table, our dear friend Joanna McCullough who attended. And then I want to introduce the man in the red coat and his wife. This is Colonel Fred and his wife, Jean Geyer, retired United States Marine Corps. And as long as you're dropping names, drop the ones that really mean something. You've all heard of the helicopter Marine One. Fred was not only a pilot in the HMX-1 squadron, for quite a while he was also the commanding officer and flew many presidents around. So it's pretty neat to be with him. Fred is also the commandant of our Marine Corps League Phillips C. DeLong Detachment. And through Fred, we have an extremely active Toys for Tots program. You hear of many different organizations coming up with toys for the needy, and they are really doing a wonderful job out there. But this year, our particular detachment served over 3,000 families 
8,110 children, 35,000 toys. And that's the difference we're trying to make up in the villages. The other person at our table is a, a new friend of mine. I've only known him for about a year. His name is Jim Dow. And Jim is the Vice President for Administration of Honor Flight. If you're not familiar with Honor Flight, it's our desire to locate every man and woman that has worn a uniform in the armed services. And right now, we are concentrating on those with World War II service. We identify them. We fly them at no charge to Washington, D.C. We take them to the World War II Memorial, the Iwo Jima, the Vietnam Wall, and the Korean uh, Memorial with a drive-by of the Air Force Memorial and a couple of others. You haven't lived until you've spent 22 hours with some of these men and women as they are taken for this honor trip on their honor day. Uh, for Carol and me, probably for the rest of our life, our dedication is going to be mostly now to the Toys for Tots and to the honor flight. If you know a World War II recipient, go to honorflight.org. It is the national program. Toss in the world vill villages in front of that, villages honor flight, and you can get directly in touch with us. All we need is a phone number and that they know we're gonna call them so it isn't a cold call. We will take it from them. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to be here. Um, I'm normally used to sitting in the back of the room. I'm having a ball with the name placard that have my name on it. This is uh, kind of different for me. And uh, well, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And at this time, since we just gave the Public Service Award, I think it'd be appropriate for us to recognize all of the elected officials who have joined us here this evening. Uh, let's start with the Lake County Commission. If you would please stand. Commissioner Connor, Chairman Ch Campion, and Commissioner Sullivan. Thank you. Uh, from our cities, will those representing cities please stand? Oh, we got a lot of those. All right, very good. Thank you. And we do have a visiting commissioner from uh, Sumter County with us as well, Mr. Al Butler. Good to see you here. School board. Roseanne. Any other constitutional officers, uh, dog catchers, people who, there we go, Judge Miller, all right, in the back of the room. Thank you all for being here, and especially those of you that participate in this uh, outstanding program. It couldn't be possible without the support of our county and the cities. We now move on to the Community Service Chris Daniels Memorial Public Service Public Safety Award. This award was established to honor the memory of Sheriff Chris Daniels, someone I was privileged to know, and to recognize an individual who meets the spirit and intent for which this award was created. Tonight, we are pleased to have the opportunity to recognize an individual in the community who demonstrates the passion for public safety that Chris was so well known for. Our recipient has demonstrated superior performance in his career and has shown a commitment to better Lake County through community involvement. He has worked in the field of emergency medicine for over 14 years and has gained recognition for implementing innovative protocols, ensuring that quality standards of excellence are maintained in the field and promoting new medical trends and technologies. Since becoming Lake EMS Medical Director in 2007, our recipient has overhauled the agency's medical protocols and has played a key role in training the more than 700 paramedics and EMTs working under his direction in Lake County. He leads by example, teaching his crews the theories behind the cutting edge protocols. 
Our recipient is a nationally recognized speaker presenting his innovative programs and protocols such as induced hypothermia, cardiac arrest care, and STEM1 care at conferences and medical directors meetings across the country. He has presented at the annual Stroke Summit in Chicago and is slated to provide programming based on Lake County's successful protocols and outcomes at the EMS World Conference in New Orleans, Louisiana. In July of this year, our recipient received the Raymond H. Alexander EMS Medical Director of the Year Award from the Florida Department of Health. This award honors a physician who serves as a medical director for basic life support, advanced life support, or air service. The winner must have demonstrated excellence in the areas of quality assurance, improvement, and medical control, in addition to the promotion and utilization of new medical trends and technologies. The recipient of the 2013 Lake County Community Service Chris Daniels Memorial Public Safety Award is Dr. Paul Banerjee, Lake EMS. Thank you so much for the award. Um, thank you for the committee for nominating me. Uh, but this really is a system award. Um, I'm a reflection of our system. And we have a great system at Lake EMS. I want to thank all the fire departments, uh, all the medics at Lake EMS. Scott, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss Scott's brains more than I'm going to miss you, actually. But uh, I want to thank a few people. Jerry, thanks for taking care of my family. Uh, my mom and dad, I couldn't do this without you. And my kids are my inspiration. So. Another award that is near and dear to my heart is our Community Service Education Award. Through her strategic vision and innovative thinking, our recipient has worked tirelessly since 2004 to provide opportunities for nursing educators to pursue advanced education and training by pro procuring funding through multiple grant opportunities. Due to her efforts, 17 nurse educators were able to attain their Master's of Science degrees, and all our faculty members were able to attend an annual national conference for nurse educators. Our recipient fostered excellence through her energetic efforts by seeking specialized accreditation of the Lake Sumter State College Nursing Education Program. She mobilized the college administration Badgered, beat us, didn't let us sleep or rest until we got the accreditation that she worked so hard for with the college faculty. She was able to document the standards and all the criteria being met, and on our first attempt, we received the accreditation in 2010 from the National League of Nursing Accreditation Commission. Our recipient exemplifies professional development and scholarship by inspiring students to become lifelong learners like her. She collaborated with the University of Central Florida and helped to bring a concurrent associate degree nursing to bachelor of science nursing degree program here to Lake County on our Leesburg campus so our students don't have to commute to Orlando. They can do it all right here. The program began in the fall of 2012. Our students' pass rates on the nurse licensing exam are typically among the best in the state, and feedback from the hospitals and others who employ our graduates is consistently very positive. In her desire to reach out to the community while providing learning experiences for our nursing students, our recipient worked with the Lake County Health Department to develop a Lake County Community Health Fair. That was held in October 2012 in Eustis. As an innovator, researcher, and dedicated educator, our recipient is always pursuing grant opportunities and partnerships to enhance and expand LSSC's nursing program. She was awarded two Department of Labor OSHA grants to promote patient safety. In addition, she's worked collaboratively with Valencia and Seminole to receive two community-based job training grants. 
that provided professional development activities for faculty and secured high quality, very expensive, by the way, simulation training equipment for our nursing students. Our recipient has made a tremendous impact on our students, our faculty, our healthcare partners, and all of us at Lake Sumter State College. Her tireless work will pay dividends to our community for many years to come. We're sad to say that she has decided to retire at the end of this year. And when we asked her, what are you gonna do after you retire? She said, take a nap. <laughs> and I think it's well deserved. Please join me in honoring the recipient of the 2013 Lake County Community Service Award for Education, Dr. Margaret Maggie Wacker, Lake Sumter <laughs> State College. I'm deeply honored and very appreciative of this award. However, I have to say this award belongs to the, with me, to the talented, creative faculty, staff, administrators, and clinical partners who work tirelessly with me to make sure that we deliver the highest quality nursing education. Thank you. You wouldn't think anybody that little would be tough, but we're all afraid of her, actually. That's <laughs> why so she always gets her way. And we have a number of our nursing faculty here with us at the back of the room. would ask you to please stand also, as Maggie indicated, you are really the glue. Our next award is for sports and athletics. Leesburg is, by its history, a baseball town. And our recipient has been synonymous with baseball in the Leesburg area since 1995. He has been the scorekeeper and statistician for Leesburg High School Baseball since 2001 and for Lake Sumter State College. As scorekeeper, he ensures that all of the activity associated with playing the game is accurately recorded. The scorekeeper determines when a player is credited for a hit, a fielder's charge with an error, or whether a run is earned or unearned. A complete and accurate record of the game allows for a statistician to do their job. And baseball, as you know, is all about the statistics. Our recipient is able to take the scorekeeper's accounting of the game and translate that information into a variety of statistical records. Because of his efforts, players and coaches are able to see a numerical picture of the performance of the individual player, as well as the cumulative performance, not only of their team, but of the trends, tendencies, and performance of their opponents' teams and players. Our recipients also served in the Leesburg High School Athletic Booster Club since 2002. He has been involved with participating in or coordinating nearly all of the fundraising activities since then. He's either on the grill selling the food at athletic events, coordinating volunteers to assist with the concessions, or selling and accounting for the tickets for the annual reverse draw event. In 2007, our recipient became one of the five initial members of the Board of Directors that successfully brought the Leesburg Lightning into the Florida Collegiate Summer League. Go Lightning! Go Lightning! <laughs> in 2005, the league was about three years old and their teams were in cities much larger than Leesburg. A consortium of Leesburg government representatives and local businessmen met with the league officials and proposed that the league schedule a game in Leesburg to prove how well the Leesburg community could and would support the team. On July 4th, 2006, the game was held at Pat Thomas Stadium, Buddy Lowe Field. The stadium was full, the weather perfect, and the community demonstrated that Leesburg is indeed a baseball town. The event was such an overwhelming success that the league expanded to include the Leesburg Lightning. The huge fan support for the Leesburg Lightning makes them a popular attraction in Lake County. The quality of the baseball played on the field, the quality of the coaching offered to these players who form quickly into a team each year, all contributes to a thriving franchise and to very strong community support. Our recipient continues to work throughout the year to raise money from sponsors and enhance partnerships, draft players, 
work with the league and do all that is necessary to maintain a team within the Florida Collegiate Summer League. Due to his efforts, the Leesburg Lightning can boast of the quality of players and coaches and the incredible fan support for our team. It is my sincere honor to introduce to you the recipient of the 2013 Lake County Community Service Sports and Athletics Award, John Meyer. Good evening. I would like to thank the Daily Commercial, the Lake County League of Cities, Leadership Lake County, the Chamber of Alliance of Lake County, the Lake Sumter State College Business Resource Center, and Lake Receptions for this event. There have been many great speeches that have been directly related to or referred to baseball in some way. Most of them would be, the most famous of them would be Lou Gehrig's farewell to baseball address. I consider myself to be the luckiest man on the face of this earth. That was delivered July 4th, 1939 in New York. This one, however, is not likely to be as famous. In my opinion, baseball will always be America's favorite pastime. Where else could you spend three hours in the afternoon eating hot dogs, popcorn, peanuts, and a cold drink? You can watch a leisurely game of ball and learn some life lessons along the way. In a fast-paced world we live in, isn't it nice for one afternoon to forget everything for nine innings? Baseball is a democracy that shines its clearest. The only race that matters is the race to the bag. The creed is the rule book, and the color merely something to distinguish one team's uniform from another. Baseball is a game where a curve can be an optical illusion, a screwball can be a pitch or a person. <laughs> Stealing is legal. And you can spit anywhere except on the umpire or on the ball. <laughs> I think a, a baseball field must be the most beautiful thing in the world. It's so honest and precise, and we play on it. Every star gets humbled. Every mediocre player has a great moment. Baseball and life have often been compared and in my opinion, life is a lot like baseball. Baseball analogies have become a way to communicate advice without getting personal or emotional. New grass emerges in our yards and on the field. The slate is washed clean, it's a new season. And our hopes and dreams are this season will be better than the last. In baseball, you go into slumps. You strike out, sometimes a lot. You make errors, at crucial moments, sometimes physical, sometimes mental. Some people even boo when you fail. To succeed, you must focus on the fundamentals so that you can face the game head on and handle the really tough situations. There will be moments when clear insight and determined perseverance will finally pay off big time, just like in life. Baseball, again, like life, is truly a team sport. It requires keen execution, knowledge of how to make things work, like the hit and run play, and paying attention to the signals given to you by others. Individuals make a difference in baseball, but teams always win. There are also many great quotes from baseball that illustrate life in baseball. Babe Ruth said, never let the fear of striking out get in your way. Frederick Wilcox was attributed to saying, Progress always involves risk. You can't steal second and keep your foot on first base. Baseball often gives us a chance to recall the pleasant times of our youth, but also to realize the passing of time. Former slugger Frank Howard put it well, the trouble with baseball is that by the time you learn how to play it, you can't play it anymore. Vince Scully noted, it's a mere moment in a man's life between the all-star game and the old timers game. I personally agree with the incomparable Babe Ruth who said baseball is, was, and always will be the best game in the world. I hope to see you at a ballpark. Thank you and God bless.
Our next award is the Community Service Entrepreneur Award. Our recipient was nominated for his commitment to business in Lake County with friendly practices and diligent standards of being owner of the Peddler's Wagon, which has been offering unique gifts and home decor ideas to Central Florida in a warm and pleasant shopping environment for over 25 years. He has expanded, redeveloped, and repurposed to strengthen his business and the community around him to enhance the quality of life in Eustis and surrounding Lake County. A native born in Eustis, his great love is in the beauty of Lake County. Every day you will see him in downtown Eustis, watering, trimming, planting, or maybe even talking to his plants. Along with his son, Sean, they have created some beautiful gardens in the downtown Eustis area. He also loves the arts of Lake County, being heavily involved in acting at the Bay Street Players Theater and the Ice House Theater, winning Dolly and QB awards for his many performances. His consistent customer service, quality product, and great place to shop has earned him loyalty from his customers, employees, and the community. The recipient of the Community Service Entrepreneur Award for 2013 is Kevin R. Janess, Peddler's Wagon. chicken. So uh, um, thank you all so very, very much. I'm um, immensely humbled and immensely honored to be on such a, um, an honored day as some of, of all the people that have been mentioned here this evening. Um, it's sort of a who's who of the county. I'm kind of born and raised here, uh, born in Eustis, grew up in Bassville Park. Um, still have most of my own teeth. Who'd have thunk? But, uh, and it's, uh, it's tr truly been an immense pleasure for all these years to have the opportunity to, uh, to establish and maintain and to contribute to the county and to the community and to all that involves. Um, actually, tonight is my anniversary. So, yay, yay, yay. yeah, thank you. Yeah. 31 years, married to Penny, four and a half of which were the happiest years of my life. Um, so, but my wife Penny and my son Sean, who were with us tonight, um, the, uh, actually we opened the shop the year that he was born, I think, and we continued on. So it's, it's all been a great pleasure for all these years. Uh, and I, I really owe our existence and our commitment to the community and what we contribute to um, the philosophy and the work that everybody with our store, everyone who's our customers, everyone who's our visitors, everyone who has allowed us to exist and allowed us to give back to all that we could possibly do and I hope to continue to do in the future. So I thank you all so very much for being part of what we do. Thank you so kindly. conclude this evening with our final award, the Community Service Business Achievement Award for a medium-sized business, 12 to 39 employees. This award recognizes an individual who has been in the flooring industry since 1976. Our recipient got his first job in flooring in 1976, working for a retailer in Orlando. He went on from there to work for Mannington, Harper Distributors, and then Wheeler Distributors for many years. He left Wheeler to open his own store in Claremont, where he and his wife ran it for over 10 years. He sold the store, went back to work for Mohawk in the early 2000s. Then in 2009, he decided it was time once again to open his own store, and he's enjoyed working and sharing his knowledge with his two daughters. Our recipient's business is a family-owned and operated business in the Claremont area. They are a retailer of flooring, flooring products, hardwood flooring, engineering wood flooring. It's kind of starting to sound like Bubba Gump, isn't it? You got your, got your coconut shrimp and you got your popcorn shrimp. You got all kinds of, all kinds of flooring here uh, that this gentleman provides. I, I could go on and on. Uh, ceramic towel, porcelain towel, kitchen remodeling products, kitchen and bath countertops, kitchen and bath backsplash tile, and natural stone products. 
This commercial was brought to you by <laughs> our award recipient tonight. They offer guaranteed installation services for wood flooring installation and many other services. They specialize in home remodeling design and kitchen and bath remodeling advice. But customer satisfaction is their number one priority. Shannon, our recipient's oldest daughter, has been with the company since it opened in 2009. She really enjoys working with her father in growing the family business. Sam, our recipient's youngest daughter, came to work for the company in 2010. She enjoys helping to redecorate and loves it when a customer finds the perfect floor to complete their room. When not working, our recipient enjoys golfing and spending time with his nine grandchildren. The recipient of the Community Service Business Achievement Award Medium-Sized Business for 2013 is Mark Thompson, Mark's Floors. don't start crying but I do have to tell you I'm a cancer survivor I got to death's door and I got to come back about five years ago and uh, I get to teach my children what's important in life and uh, I get to uh, take great care of my customer so uh, what's the matter Donald am I not talking loud enough all right so I, I got it I'm sorry that's all right about five years ago, I got cancer and I got to come back. And now I get to teach my uh, children uh, not only how to run a small business, but how to be good in their community and be good with the, uh, the people in the community and, and give back. And it's not all about just how much business we can or can't do. It's about how well we do it and what we give back. And on an advertising side, we did open a store just down the street here in, <laughs> and, in Mount Torres, so we have two locations now. No, but listen, thank you all so much. I, I'm just proud to be in the room with all these people. I didn't think that would uh, ever happen to me. So uh, thank you all so much. I appreciate it. You know, Mark is certainly right because this has been an incredible evening and it's just inspiring and uplifting to be in a room with these great people and also with all of their supporting cast. You heard every one of them talk about how important it was for family or friends or co-workers or others who really helped them to achieve the things that, that they're being recognized for. And each person, you'll notice, uh, deferred the credit and and said it was the work of others that really made it possible for them to be successful. Uh, and that just tells you what the hallmark of a community service award is. That these are people who not only achieve great things, but they do it in a way that's humble, that cares about other people, that puts their interests first, and that makes our community just a wonderful place to live in, to work in, to be a part of. Uh, and we are truly blessed to have the opportunity to be here. And I want to pause and just ask for another round of applause for all of our recipients tonight. For great work for you. I also want to thank our sponsors who again make all this possible. The Lake County League of Cities, Leadership Lake County, the Daily Commercial, the Chamber Alliance of Lake County, Lake Sumter State College, and Lake Receptions. Thanks to all of you. Please give them a round of applause, our sponsors. And thank you for attending. Mark this on your calendar. We want to see you here next year when we will be doing the 2014 Community Service Awards. Thank you. Drive safely. Good night.